And now to our continuing coverage. Thousands of people in Mount Pleasant say changes need to be made to the town's noise ordinance. News 2's Riley Benson joins us now live from Shem Creek. And Riley, the petition was started after a restaurant was cited for loud music. And now town leaders and restaurant owners are discussing some of the solutions. Yeah, Kevin, we've talked with leaders. We've also talked with restaurant owners. They say finding the right noise balance is a delicate act. They also say the goal here is to make it more clear on what's too loud while providing a great experience for their customers and maintaining those relationships with those who live nearby. Vickery Shelter and Saltwater Cowboys say they've all received noise violations. They want to have some music out there, but they don't want to offend the neighbors. And, and that was a big part of that. Petition to amend the ordinance has gathered more than 3,000 signatures. Town Councilman Gary Santos says it's a balancing act. I want them to be able to coexist. I want them to be able to, to, to balance it, you know, with between the restaurants and the citizens. I want everybody to be able to enjoy, you know, the quality of life here that we have. The main issue for the restaurants, they say there's no clear answer on how loud is too loud. Santos says one solution could be a decimal level. So I think something that we can actually get that sound and, and lock that sound in like a decimal meter, I think that would benefit everybody and we, we would have a way now to, to be able to judge what, what is too loud and what isn't. The decibel limit, taking judgment and guessing out of the equation, setting a clear boundary. Santos says it could be something used townwide for construction, music and more. We didn't talk about banning uh, amplified music. The idea is if you have that decimal meter, any type of noise, you know, will be be able to be tracked by it with that meter. It's a search for a solution to keep neighbors happy and customers entertained. I think that's going to benefit everybody because now it takes the guessing out of it. We'll know exactly whether or not it's too loud. And keep life on the creek moving right along. We want the balance, you know, so that you can have some music, but not, like I said, um, affect the neighborhood around there. So uh, hopefully they'll come back and they'll have some good ideas and uh, we can move forward. Now, Jacob Robertson, the Vickery's manager who started the petition with more than 3,000 signatures, says the group plans to meet with neighbors here in the community to craft some solutions before meeting with town leaders for a second time. For now, reporting live from Shem Creek, Raleigh Benson, Count on Two.